So congratulations for each one of you who somehow connected to the Bitcoin because we are crossing that $70,000 resistance, right? And that's a really big day for the crypto. So basically in today's episode, let's break down Bitcoin. Let's talk about what is the most likely going to happen. As most of you know, the uh, previous videos I was talking about that most likely we are going higher and that's exactly happened, right? Here in my Telegram channel as well, I shared this scenario over here and you can see on the charts that we are moving exactly in that direction. So all of these people who traded these signals, uh, congratulations, you are all in the profits and we are still holding the long. So basically in today's episode, I want to break down uh, what is the best decisions to do right now, where the currently market is and basically what is actually going on. In, uh, is it the bull market? Are we expecting the higher prices or not, right? So basically, let's start from the beginning where we are right now. Uh, this is, was very obvious that after some kind of impulse here, let's uh, let's start to analyze. So here you can see that impulse. After the impulse, there begins some kind of correction. Some kind of correction, we don't care what kind of correction. We are seeing that the price start to e squeeze into the triangle, right? And creates for us amazing opportunity to enter some longs over here. So this is why I was calling that one. And most likely they're going to be the continuation of the uptrend, which one we are expecting. So basically, what is the first target? If we are trading on a small, uh, smaller time frame, and if we open the longs over here around like $74,000, you can close your positions if this is the short term. It's everything is depends how you personally trade. I personally hold my long positions. I'm not trying to close right now. And there's still a way up I'm waiting for because most of the portions of my trade are already closed, right? Because we long it somewhere. I don't actually remember. Somewhere here we long it, right? And somewhere here we took some profits. And uh, I have some last position I didn't close it so around like um, like maybe 30 percent I didn't close it so I'm gonna hold that until they're gonna be some massive impulses so what we are expecting from a higher time frame from higher time frame we are expecting the impulse because if we're gonna switch on a five hour time frame what we are seeing here uh, let me clean this one we don't need anymore here we have all targets right here you can see uh, if we're gonna break down this is by Elliot's waves here's the wave one two three three, four, and five. So basically right now, uh, most likely we are in a fifth wave. Uh, one more thing what I want to mention that this is not a panacea at all. Bitcoin right now looks pretty very bullish and basically from Elliot Swift's perspective there's possibility that we are still in a major uptrend but currently we are seeing that current waves right showing us the targets as a wave 5 right. The targets for wave 5 we're going to take a Fibonacci put on the beginning of the impulse, end of this impulse and end of the wave 4 right over here, you can see the target is 0.6. So this is why I mark it exactly this area because most likely prices comes to that point. Uh, one more thing what I want to mention that the wave five is impulsive wave. So we are expecting five impulsive wave structure inside of this one. So here, as you can see, wave one, sub wave one, sub wave two. And right now we are in sub wave three, sub wave four and sub wave five. Something such kind of we are expecting, something such kind of we are trading, right? And because every wave is um, all Always is sub waves and there's always have a sub 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 waves and here basically if we're gonna deep dive in a smaller time frame we actually don't care what kind of correction happened over here uh, we know one thing look at that you can see here uh, impulse right after we had some kind of correction let me take a brush correction of some kind of wrong correction maybe right after again there is continuation of the uptrend after we are having what again correction which one is creates for us triangle right you see the different shapes different patterns right but the idea is the same so uh, impulse correction impulse correction and right now that's this is why i was expecting continuation of the impulse but what we are seeing on the a little bit smaller time frame and what is actually our targets for now, right? Because we have the targets as well, because uh, basically, yes, wave three over here, you can see that this wave three is impulsive wave and uh, basically doesn't have a targets, but most likely price comes where? If we take a, a Fibonacci and measure this wave three, let's take a Fibonacci, put on the beginning of the wave one, end of the wave one and end of the wave two, because wave two finished uh, the peak 
was here, right? The bottom was here. So basically what we are seeing right now, we uh, we retested one, 1 1.2. This is the minimum level. So this is why I closed my position over here, some part of position, because basically the, 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 the targets for wave three, we, um, we touched, right? The minimums. Right now we are more, or we are in a wave four here, and right now we are just at wave five, or this is still wave five, wave three, which one uh, usually, once again repeating, wave three is very impulsive wave. This is the minimum targets, uh, those targets, one, 1.2, 1 right? This is the minimum targets. Most likely price comes to 1.6. This is the area where we are expecting most likely. So basically, uh, there's a possibility that we will go higher right and only after that we're gonna see some kind of correction and after that correction how it's gonna happen of course wave three will be fully formed if we're gonna reach that 1.6 so that's the six seventy six thousand dollar that's the our targets most likely here i'm gonna close even more of my position because currently i'm hold my longs and for all of these people who traded with me uh, or, or using my copy trading on a binks right um i'm not closing that positions yet that the, the fully i'm gonna close it exactly over somewhere over here fully even maybe higher because remember that wave three can be 1.6 2.6, oops, uh, 3.6, 4.6, and higher and higher and higher. It doesn't have any targets, you know. So this is why you might be, uh, must to be always hold some asset. So you need to hold some position in case of parabolic growth because Bitcoin actually right now looks like he's gonna break everything and just going higher, right? But from the technical perspective, what we are trading and where we have a strategy, right? Because that's what we need. We don't care that it's gonna be parabolic growth or not because from the perspective of investment, of course, I'm not closing any position here. I'm not going <laughs> to quit. I'm not going to sell all my Bitcoins, right? I'm just talking about the leverage trading. So leverage trading requires having the plan. So this is where we're going to take some profits. About the investment, of course, I'm not touching my Bitcoin at all because we are most likely going to, I'm waiting for parabolic growth. But from technical perspective, we are seeing at least $76,000 uh, $76, and then higher. So um, for all of these people who's traded, I highly suggest you to do the close right now, the positions who, who opened the copy trading with me, right? And one more thing what I want to mention that I'm moving, uh, I'm moving to, uh, I move my trades to the buy bit and the people who's, um, who's trading with me, I highly suggest you to re register using by my links because they're going to be really uh, very interesting bonuses for each one of you. The link in description below, first the buy bit link, that's where I'm trading. Uh, and thank you so much if you're going to support me by registering by that links. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So basically, yeah, well, this is what we're seeing on the markets right now currently. We are going higher. I'm more, uh, more, more like kind of expecting the scenario about this wave three and i'm sure that this is not looks like this not the sure like uh there's a very less likely that we are in a fifth wave and after that we will fall massively but of course we just keep in mind this scenario as well that we as wave three happened over here right now we had wave four and we are just in fifth wave that's also a possibility that i have some possibility but um we still believe in a wave three because we have a targets for that. So basically, yeah, this is what I'm thinking about the market right now. Uh, that's gonna, uh, that was really beautiful triangle here, which will work out perfectly, right? And uh, all of you mentioned that, that this triangle was really perfect, um, uh, perfect scenario. And here was like really great time to enter some longs, right? From high time frame, uh, guys, expect some massive downtrend. That's also, um, if you're a trader, you always need to be ready for any kind of scenarios, right? And here, exactly especially right now there's possibility that we will fall even lower and only after that we will see this massive growth right but for now currently on the smaller time frame everything looks very bullish and i have no any rights to talk about any bearish scenario for now uh, and if there's some bearish scenario first i want we go much much more lower than those all levels right so basically i want to we fall lower than uh, sixty-three thousand dollar. If we're gonna fall over here, then we might say that here gonna be great short opportunity to to enter, right? And after we most likely gonna go lower. But before that happens, 
everything is uh, telling us that the price is most likely gonna grow, right? Um, feel good to hold your long positions. Congratulations for each one of you. And for all of these people who just saw my channel, guys, if you like my analysis, if you like the way I look at the market, highly suggest you to subscribe to the channel, press that likes, leave your comment, and one more, the most important information that to join our Telegram channel, because here happening a lot of things. Here I'm giving crazy cool signal for each one of you, great tips for your trading, for investment, and all other things connected to the crypto and financial markets. But of course, this is not a financial advice, everything made for educational purpose only. And please do your own research when it comes to the trading, especially with leverage trading and financial decisions, right? So uh, for all of these people who already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for watching that. One more thing repeating, uh, right now is not a good time to open the longs, not good time to open the shorts. Right now is just a time when you want to look at the market, right? When there was a call, I told you that that's a good call to trade. And right now, just watch the market. If the price is going to fall, it will hit your stop loss. If the price is going to go high, then it's going to take your profits. And I, I will be very, very happy if each one of you going to um, enjoy my calls. So, See you in the next and bye bye.